Hey everyone, Miss Reimer here with Music Teacher Message. Today we are going to be talking about <laughs> the pea bone. <laughs> hey everyone, Miss Reimer here with Music Teacher Message. Today we are going to be talking about. Oh, I did it again. Hey everyone, Miss Reimer here with Music Teacher Message. Today we are going to be talking about the pea bone. Nailed it. So I first heard about the pea bone when I was student teaching, I think, um, or just before then. And I was on kind of a teacher's field trip. Um, I got to tag along with my cooperating teacher, like the real teacher. Um, and we went to Conselmer, which is a company that makes instruments. And um, we got to talk to some, like the president or something of, of Conselmer and several other very important people. One of which was a guy named Dr. Tim, and he does all kinds of great stuff for music education. He asked me if I had heard of the pea bone yet. And I said, I've heard of it, but I haven't heard anyone play it. And, you know, we were just kind of talking about it, and I was like, I mean, come on, it's, it's a piece of plastic. Like, how good can it be? And he said he was really impressed with it. He said, instead of using the plastic mouthpiece that comes with it, he recommends using a traditional brass trombone mouthpiece. And he says, it, it sounds great. So a little time went by. I finally decided I needed my own pea bone. So um, I'm going to demonstrate a little bit, talk about when I think this is a good choice and maybe when it's not a good choice. So first up, I'm gonna play the plastic mouthpiece that comes with it. It says it's an 11C, if you know what that is and if you care, let's play. <laughs> it's been a while since I played some trombone. Now I'm going to play Mary Had a Little Lamb again, but this time with a normal brass mouthpiece and see if there's any differences. <laughs> So, I don't know if you can tell any difference between the brass mouthpiece and the plastic mouthpiece. I think it does sound a lot better with the brass mouthpiece. Does the plastic mouthpiece work? Absolutely. It's completely playable. It's a good beginning step. Um, but I do think you get a little bit better tone quality on this. That's just me. Maybe it doesn't matter to the audience. Who knows? The pea bone comes in three pieces, just like a traditional trombone does. It comes with the mouthpiece, and then we have the slide, and then we've got the section with the bell. Um, unlike a, a normal trombone, you just stick it together, and there's no um, like screw part to like tighten it right there. Um, it does creak ever so slightly, not a big deal. The slide is a little noisy. And it's not a big deal. Um, you know, if you were playing and you've got people across the room or across the gym, nobody's gonna hear that. Um, but when you're practicing, like I do here, and I am like, Ugh, it's a little, just a little noisier than I'd like it to be. That being said, things I love about this pea bone it's durable. And when kids are learning how to take care of an instrument, I think having something durable can be very nice. The flip side of it, because it's plastic, you can't get it fixed. If you dent a slide and it's made out of brass, they can work their magic and get it back to like it being straight and functioning. If you damage a plastic instrument, you're kind of out of luck. Now it is a lot cheaper than a traditional brass trombone. This can be useful in a couple different cases. Maybe a kid isn't old enough yet to be in band, but they really, really want to try a band instrument this would be fine to hand to like a third or a fourth grader. Um, it does come in a smaller size as well. The one I have is like our traditional um, trombone, but there are smaller ones. So it's gonna be in a different key. Might be a little confusing to a beginner if they're gonna go on to play trombone, but it would be helpful for the slide not to have to go as far out. So something to think about there. Um, 
It could also be used for like pep band. I know some bands do that. Um, during a basketball game, you know, the band is sitting in the stands and it does happen where a basketball comes flying into the band on accident. It's nice to not really have to worry too much about the instrument in your hand. Um, it's also fun because it comes in a bunch of different colors and if you've got a pea bone that is your like school color, can be fun, a little extra school spirit for you. What I think it's bad for probably if you're going to like a competition, I don't think any band director would be happy to see one of these in a kid's hands. Um, I don't think it quite sounds as good as a traditional trombone does. Um, but you know, when I'm playing, I mean, the sound's coming out like a foot away from my head. So maybe it sounds different to me than it does to an audience. So maybe, maybe we need to do a, like, can you tell the difference between a brass trombone and a plastic trombone? Um, I, I think long-term it's better to have a brass trombone, but I do think this can be good for beginners. Like I said, um, if you're too young for band or maybe if money is tight and getting a brass trombone isn't in the cards right now, if it really came down to a kid playing a pea bone or not being able to do band at all because of money, I would rather the kid play the pea bone and, you know, learn trombone. Everything you do on this will transfer over to a brass trombone. I don't know that I would care too much in fifth grade band because we don't go to competitions. We're not um, traveling all over the place, you know, doing really big fancy competitions or performances or whatever. Um, we're going to have a few performances. We're trying to get the basics down and have a good time and keep these kids in band. So I think P-Bones could be great for that. Um, but there, there definitely are some drawbacks, like I said, not being able to get them fixed and possibly the sound if it bothers you. Um, also the case. It comes in like this, I mean, it's heavy duty. Um, I don't even know what to call this. It kind of canvasy, and then on the inside it's a little plasticky. And then um, there's some pockets sewn in there, so you take it apart, and then the mouthpiece has its own little spot. And that's all you get. So you'd have to be careful if this is gonna go on the bus with you. Um, yeah, it's not as good as like a hard case that a traditional trombone comes in. I think the P-Bone is really interesting. It plays pretty well. I was genuinely surprised at how good it does sound considering it's just plastic. <laughs> and like I said, that all the side positions are correct. Um, whatever you, you do on this, you can just switch it out and get a, a brass trombone in your hand and be good to go. Nothing changes. So I think it's pretty amazing like technology and stuff that went into creating this. Um, if you're somebody who wants to be in band, maybe talk to your band director about would they be okay with this? Because I know a lot of band directors would not be okay with it. Maybe under special circumstances, who knows? So something to think about. Um, All right, that brings us to the end of the first plastic instrument I'm testing. Um, thank you for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next one. Bye.